First, I'll take the blame for pumping up this Kansas State Wildcats team all offseason. There are several reasons why the Wildcats laid an egg in the opener, but no sufficient excuses. I'll give you a more in-depth evaluation this week, but a few things don't need further review. Offense Skyler Thompson Skyler was okay and Kansas State needed Skyler to be good. He was consistently off on his deep balls, and probably left something like 14 to 17 points on the field. He looked hesitant to run, and his running ability is a big part of what makes him dangerous. He's the leader, he's the captain, he's a senior, he has to be better. Offensive line in my depth chart review I said, his Cooper BB ability in pass protection is the question for the red shirt freshman because according to report from camp, he's one of the strongest players on the team and plays with a mean streak. Well, that question was answered today, because BB looked like a turnstile in pass protection. Once this became a passing game, Christian Duffy, who was listed as the starter at right tackle on the initial depth chart, but was unavailable today, is significantly better in pass protection and should play if available. When Noah Johnson went down with an elbow injury and could no longer snap the ball, the center position went from a strength to a question mark. There were a few bad snaps, and one where Skyler was calling an audible and didn't get to finish before the ball hit him in the thigh. This was a young offensive line, and not having Duffy or a healthy Noah Johnson was brutal. Running Botchki like Harry Trotter. He runs hard, and when he has an open lane, he's a solid back. I'll have to watch the film to confirm this, but it felt like he was playing at one speed all day. He didn't show enough patience with his blocking on inside runs, and was not good at picking his way through the middle and helping out his offensive line. He took the ball, ran straight ahead as fast as could, and fell down when he ran into traffic, usually for no, or minimum, gain. This offense needs an interior run game, and they didn't have one against Arkansas State. That's not ideal. Defense interior defensive line aim officially worried that other teams are going to beat the Wildcats up between the tackles. I was more worried than most when Matthew Polamau opted out, and today my worries were confirmed. When Arkansas State needed to run the ball, they ran the ball and the Kansas State defensive line didn't have much to say in the matter. I'm not sure there is a solution to this problem on the roster. We're going to need to see marked improvement by the defensive tackles or this defense isn't going to work. Linebacker I wasn't impressed with the linebackers. They were okay, but that should be a strength. Once again, the guy who stood out physically was Daniel Green. I was not impressed by the returning Justin Hughes.